If you are still buying presets and lots, you are wasting your money because you can easily create your own. In this video, I'll show you how to copy color from any image and apply it to your own image and save that color as a lot so that you can use it for other images as well. I will also show you how to create presets that you can use for both Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. And finally, I'm going to show you how to create 3D lots inside of Photoshop. I will also be giving out the lots you created in this video for free. So if you want it, check the link in the description below of this video. Once you move your image to Photoshop, I'm going to show you how I created this color grading and how you can save it as a lot. But before that, let me first of all show you how to copy color grades from any image and paste it to your own image and also save it as a lot. So the first thing I want to do, after we've done our skill retouching and everything, just drag and drop the image you want to copy the color from inside of Photoshop. Please pay close attention because this is going to be a detailed tutorial. Now after you drag and drop that image inside of Photoshop, with your layer tool selected or the layer above the image you want to copy the color from. So I'm going to rename this layer color copy so you can understand better. Now to copy the color, select the layer below the color copy layer, which is this layer too. After you select it, come to image, come to adjustment and click on color match right here. Once you click on color match, what you want to do from here, for this source, select your original image as a source. So you can see our original image right here is T73310. So I'm going to click on source. I click on this T7310 right here as the source. Now for the layer, we are going to select this color copy layer, which is above the layer two. So I'm going to select it and just going to copy the color. Now from here, to make it look more realistic, you can play with the fade and just move the fade up a little bit. And also play with the color intensity and play with the luminance to increase the lightness or the brightness of the color like that. All right, so let me take it down a little bit. I like this color. Now to save it as a lot or as a color grade preset so you can apply it to other images, all you have to do is click on this save statistic right here. Once you click on it, just rename it. I'm going to rename this color dark lots. After I rename it, I'm just going to select the folder which I want to save it to. So I'm going to save it under this color grading folder and just hit save. And from here, I'm going to hit OK. So let me just hide this color copy layer and see the before and the after the before and the after now let me show you how you can apply this color to another image or similar image so if i just come to this image right here let me just hide the color grid edit for this image so if i want to apply that dark lots to this image what i want to do with this layer tool selected i want to come to image come to adjustment and click on match color right here now from here I'm going to click on load statistic right here. Once I click on it, I'm going to locate that my video color grade. So I go to my document. So anywhere you save it on. So mine is on my document. I'm going to open it and scroll the way down. You are going to see it right here. Dark lot dot star. So I'm going to select it and hit OK. So you're just going to apply that image for me. So for me, what we are going to do. Remember what we did earlier? We're just going to fade it to make it look realistic. All right. And also play with the color density or the luminous until you feel it's okay and hit okay see the before and the after the before and the after and that's how you can copy color from another image apply it to your own image and save it as a lot so you can do this for any type of image and you can copy color from any kind of image as well but what i want to keep in mind is before you copy any color from any image make sure the environment actually matches your own image for example pay attention to the skin tone how bright the image is or how dark the image is and the colors that are present on the image you're actually copying colors from. So just make sure the image you want to copy the color from is very similar to your own image. If you want to get the best results, it's very important. Now let me show you how you can create posters that you can use for both Lightroom and Camera Raw. To create that poster, I'll first of all delete the color grid I did for this image and just create a stamp visible layer by pressing on Command Option Shift E or Control Shift Option Shift E. Then I'll come to Filter click on camera raw filter so from here i've already done the adjustment so i'm going to just apply previous settings so apply previous settings and this is the color grid right here so the color grid is kind of complicated you can see a lot goes into this color grid so basically after color grading your image or making your different adjustments inside of camera raw this is how you can save it as a preset so that you can actually apply it to other image using lightroom or camera raw Looking at this image right now, I feel the highlight is too much. So I'm going to come to the highlights and just reduce the highlights a little bit. Maybe bring down the exposure a little bit like so. All right. Now let's say I like this color grading. 
Let me show you how you can save it so you can actually use it inside of Lightroom for other images or similar images. Now to save this color grading process, just click on this three dots icon right here and click on save settings right here. Once you click on save settings, it's going to give you the option that everything is going to save. So it's going to save the color profile. It's going to save the light. So if you add masking to your own, you can just check this mask right here. If you add this masking, it's going to save both your mask. But I don't add masking for this. So I'm going to uncheck this and just click on save. So from here, you're not going to select the folder you want to save this post to. So I'm going to save my under this video color grading and rename it T Cine and click save. Now from here, I'm going to click on OK. See the before and the after. Now if I want to apply this color grade to other image or similar images. So let's say I want to apply it to this image right here. All I have to do is come to my filter, click on camera filter, click on this three dot icon right here, click on load settings and just look for the folder where I saved that preset. So this is it right here, video color grade. I want to load it. Once I open it, you can see it right here. See see me? I'm going to click on load. I'm just going to load that color grading for us. Now if you want to save it as a preset instead of camera roll so that you can easily access it. What you want to do is just click on this three dot icon right here and click on create preset. Once you click on create preset, just rename this preset. Let me just rename it C Cine 1 and hit OK. So right now, if I just cancel this and come back to camera roll, click on filter, click on camera roll filter, Come to preset, click on user preset, and just scroll the way down and look for that TCN1, which you just created. All right, so look at it right here, TCN1. If I just click on it, it's just going to apply for us. All right, so see the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, let me show you how you can use this same preset inside of Lightroom. Now, once I come to Lightroom, if I want to apply that cinematic preset to this image right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on presets. Once I open preset, I'm going to click on this plus icon and click on import preset right here. Once I click on import preset, you are just going to locate where the preset is, which is under my video color grade. This is it right here and just click on import. Once I click on import, it's just going to import that preset inside of Lightroom. Now, after you import it, to apply it, I'm going to come to user preset right here and just look for that CC1. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. All right. So this is it right here. See scene one, I'm going to click on it and just going to apply that preset to this image. All right. So see the before and the after, see the before and the after. So once you apply it, if you feel it's too much, you can come to the amount and just reduce the amount. Or if you feel it's not enough, you can increase the amount. And also you can add exposure and just make adjustments if you still want to make adjustment to it. The same thing inside of camera, you can also increase the amount or reduce the amount. So let's just reset it, reset to default, come to preset. Look for that TCN1, okay? TCN1 right here, if you feel it's too much, same thing, have the amount, just reduce the amount or increase the amount. So this amount right here is like opacity. So you can just play with it. And once you feel you're done, you can hit okay. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. And that's how you can create and apply presets using both Lightroom and Camera Rub. Now seriously, if you've learned it from this video so far, Make sure to give this video a like and also share this video with someone who you think might learn something from this video. And finally, let me show you how you can create 3D color lookup table from scratch and apply it to your image using Photoshop. I've already collected this image from scratch. See the before and the after. And I've saved it as a 3D lot. So let me just hide it and apply that lot before I show you how I created it and also how you can do it yourself. So if I want to load that lot, I'm going to come to my adjustments. Click on color lookup table right here. Click on load 3D lot. And just look for that lot. This is it right here. Just click on open. I'm just going to open, as you can see, the before and the after. And let me show you what I did for this color grid and also how you can save it as a lot. All right. So this is everything I did for this color grid. I'm just going to delete it. Now pay close attention. This is very important. Before you start creating color lookup table, make sure to merge all your retouching layer to your background layer. If not, it's not going to work. So I'm going to merge my layers right now with my first layer selected. I want to hold shift, click on my background layer and just press up command E to merge everything to my background layer. So do this first before you start making any adjustment or whatsoever. If not, it's not going to work. Now, after I do that, I'm just going to color grade this image right now. I'm going to come to my adjustment layer, click on hue, saturation, adjustment layer. Once I do that, I'll come to my blues and just move it towards the side because I'm targeting only the sky. So I'll move it towards the side 
I come to my saturation and just increase the saturation until I feel it's okay. So I think like this works for me. And I come to the lightness and just add a little bit of lightness because I'm working on only the blues. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my science. I'm going to move the saturation up because I'm still targeting only the skies. So let this works for me. See the before and the after. And after that, I'm going to cut my adjustment layer again. Let's look at my adjustment layer. Come to Windows. I click on Adjustment right here. And your adjustment layer is going to open for you. My next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my selective color. Once I come to my selective color, I'm going to come to the yellows. This time, I want to target the skin tones, all right? So I just want to make it look better. For my yellows, I'm going to take the cyan's down a little bit. So let's use minus 53 or 50. Minus 50 works on me so you can see what's happening to the skin tone. And also, I'll come to the blacks and just remove a little bit of black. So let's use minus 14, okay? Now I come to the magenta and just add a little of magenta. Let's use plus two, all right? Now, still on the skin tone, I'll come to the reds. I'm going to add a little bit of cyan because I don't want the image to be red. So if I take it to this side, it's going to be red. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cyan. So let's use plus six. All right. Then I'll come to the blacks. Just take the blacks up a little bit to add a bit of contrast. So let's use about plus 20. And I'll come to magenta and just add maybe plus two of magenta. So that's what I'll do with my selective color. See the before and the after. So basically, I'm not just teaching you how to create lots. I'm teaching you how to color grade as well. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I want to work on the highlights, shadows and me too separately. And to do that, come back to your adjustment layer and just click on color balance right here. For the mid since it's on mid right now, I'm going to add a little bit of science to the mid -tunes. So let's use plus six to the mid -tunes. Then I'll come to the shadows. For the shadows, I'm going to add a bit of science to the shadows as well. All right, so let's use minus five or minus four. Then I'll come to the highlights. And for the highlights, since I added science to the shadow, I'm not going to do the opposite and just add reds to the highlight. So let's say plus eight. And also I'll come to the yellows and just add blues. So let's say plus eight for the um, yellows. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. And next I'm going to do, I'm just going to add contrast to this image. So to add contrast, I'm going to come to my adjustment layer, click on levels adjustment layer. Once I click on levels adjustment layer, I'm going to move the shadow parts inside a little bit like this. Also move the highlight parts inside a little bit like this just to add contrast, see the before and the after. We've added contrast to this image. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my adjustment layer again. Remember, I was still color grading this image. I'll click on color lookup table right here and just click on low 3D lot and look for this moonlight 3D right here. I'm going to click on it. Obviously right now it's looking too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the opacity and just take down the opacity until I feel it's looking good. So let's use about 20. Or to, let's say about 20, 20 works. So see the before and the after. Wow. The before and the after. Now it's looking too dark. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to my adjustment layer again. Click on curves adjustment layer. And just come to this preset. Click on this default. And click on lighter RGB right here. Once I do that, now I think it's looking a bit too bright. See the before and the after. And if you like this, it's good. But I'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit. So let's use about 60. All right, so let's use opacity of 60. See the before and the after. Now for me, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to group everything I've done so you can see the before and after. All right, so see the before and the after. The before and the after. Now let me show you how you can save it as a lot so you can just apply it once to your image instead of doing all those adjustments from scratch. All right, to do that, first of all, I want to remove all the adjustments from this group because we want only the adjustments. We don't want it to be on a group. So to do that, I'm going to select all the adjustments and just bring it above the group. All right, and just delete this group. Now that we've deleted that group, to save this color grade as a lot, with your first layer selected, come to File, click on Export, and click on Color Lookup Table right here. Now I'm just going to rename this one Silence. All right, and for the quality, I'm going to use Medium, and for Format, I'm going to use Cube. So you can use any one, but Cube always works. I'm going to use Cube and just click on OK. Now, all you have to do is to select the folder you want to save this lot to. So remember, I'm going to come to my document and just save it to this color, video color grade profile. And I'm just going to name this one Silence so you can understand better and hit save. So it's just going to save that color grade for us. So let me just group everything I've done right now and load that lot so you can see the before and after. Now to load that lot, I'm going to click on adjustment layer, click on color lookup table right here, click on load 3D lot, click on load 3D lot again. And just look for that lot. So this is right here, Tillens lot. I want to click on open. 
I'm just going to open that color grade for us. As you can see, in one click, the before and the after. And this is the group, the before and the after. You can see there's no different. Now for me, if you feel it's too much, you can just come to your opacity and just reduce the opacity like that. All right, so the before and the after. Now let's say I want to copy this color grade to this other image right here. To do that, let me just delete this color grade I did. I'm going to come to my adjustment layer, click on color lookup table, click on low 3D lots, click on low 3D lots again. And just click on this CLS lot right here. Click on open. I just going to load that color grade to this image. And from here, you can choose to reduce the opacity if you want to do that. Now, after watching this video, I hope you don't waste your money for lots anymore. And if you want to learn how to generate backgrounds with AI and apply it to your own image, check out this video right here. It's explained in details. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.